real numbers. The combination of rational, rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real numbers. The combination of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real numbers. Here, observed ratio means like P by Q. Which numbers can be expressed as a P by Q form is called rational numbers. Here, P and Q are integers and also Q not equals to 0. Here, Irrational numbers mean which numbers cannot be expressed as a p by q form are called irrational numbers. Let us see the examples of rational numbers. Here 0, 1, minus 2, 3 by 4 like that. Here examples of irrational numbers root 2, root 3, root 5 and also pi and uh, e like that a number which cannot be written in the form p by q for any integers p comma q and q is non zero is called an irrational number the decimal extension of an irrational number is non-terminating and non-recurring. The 5th century BC, the Pythagorean in Greece, the follower of famous mathematician and philosopher Pythagoras, were the first to discover the numbers which are not rational. These numbers are called irrational numbers. Let us see the value of root 2 by using long division method first here we have to write 2 after put a point decimal point here after that take zero in a pair like the as your wish after that draw the vertical line here and also horizontal line okay here 2 is lies between 1 square and 2 square. It means 1 less than 2 less than 4. Here 2 is nearest to the 1. It, that's why we write here 1, 1. Okay, 1, 1 is 1. Here remainder 1. After that put a decimal point, carry out the zeros. Okay, now 1 is doubly 2. Here we have to write the one digit in unit place as its same as this place also. Now that's why we take 21 into 1, 21. And next one, 22 into 2, we get the answer 44. 23 into 3, we get the answer 69. 24 into 4, we get the answer 96. Here, 96 is the nearest to the 100. That's where we take this one. Okay, here we have to write 4 and also here 4. 4 into 24, we get 96. Okay, after that we have to get 4. Remainder. Carry out the zeros and here we have to double it. This one. 2, 4, double, 8. After that we have to take 281 into 1. We get the answer 281. 282 into 2. We get the answer. 564. Here 
281 is the nearest to the 400. That's why here write 1. We have to write here 1. Okay? 281. Here we have to subtract. We get 9, 1, 1. Okay? After that we have to carry 0. Continue. You have to continue this process. Locate root 2 value on number line. Okay. First of all, we have to draw the num number line by using ruler and pencil. After that, number line divide into 1 1 centimeter unit. Like this. 0, 1, 2, 3. And here minus 1, minus 2. After that here put a point O. Now you have to draw the 1 unit square. At O. And each side is 1, 1 centimeter. Okay, here consider point O, A, B and C. Okay, now from figure, figure, here we have to draw OB, join the OB. Okay, from figure, in O, B, A, B, C square triangle O, A, B, A right angle triangle now we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Here we consider hypotenuse OB square is equal to side square OA square plus AB square. Here OB square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square. OB square is equal to 1 square means 1 and also 1 square means 1. OB square is equal to 2. Here OB is equal to root 2. Okay. After that we have to take the compass and we have to take the radius like this. Okay. After that you have to draw the for north to by using compass only. This is the root 2 on number line. Let us consider A and B are rational numbers. Then an irrational number an irrational number lying between A and B is root A B. It means root over A into B. Let us see one example. Take 0 0.7 and 
zero point seven zero. Therefore, the an irrational number lying between zero point seven and zero point seven seven is two to over zero point seven into zero point seven seven. It means seven by ten into seventy seven by hundred. Okay. After the seven is common and also ten is. We get the answer eleven by ten. This is the an irrational number lying between zero point seven and zero point seven seven. Pi is defined as the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. As pi is in the form of ratio. This seems to contradict the fact that pi is irrational. The circumference and the diameter of a circle are incommensurable. That is, there does not exist any common unit to measure that allows us to measure the both. If you are measure accurately, then at least either C and D is irrational. So pi is regarded as a irrational. The Greek genius Archimedes was the first to compute the value of pi. He showed the value of pi lie between three point one four zero eight four five and three point one four two eight five seven. Aryabhatta, the great Indian mathematician and astronomer, found the value of pi correctly. Up to four decimal places, three point one four one six. Using high-speed computers and advanced algorithms, pi has been computed to over one point two four trillion decimal places. The decimal expansion of pi is non-terminating, non-recurring. So, pi is an irrational number. Note that we often to take. Pi twenty two by seven as the an approximate value of pi, but pi not equals to twenty two by seven, and we celebrate March fourteenth as a pi day since it is a three point one four. What a coincidence! Albert Einstein was born on March fourteenth, eighteen hundred seventy nine. By using above chart, you have to classify the which one is rational or irrational. By using above two charts, you have to explain the what is the differences between rational numbers and irrational numbers. By using above formula, you have to find the irrational number between given two numbers. You have to find the root five value up to three decimal places by using long division method, and also root seven value. Locate root ten on number line by using Pythagoras theorem. By using above chart, you have to justify your answers. By using Pythagoras theorem. We can construct the square root spiral. Take OP line segment with one unit length. After that, draw the PQ perpendicular to OP with the length of one unit length. After you have to join the OQ. We can get root two by using Pythagoras theorem. After that, draw a line segment. QR of unit length perpendicular to OQ. Join OR. We can get OR is equal to root three. By this continue process, we can construct the square root spiral.
up to root 10 and also so on. Presenting real numbers on number line through successive magnification method. By using successive magnification method, we can locate the terminating decimal and non-terminating recurring decimal. Locate 2.776 on number line. Here given number is 2.776. Here 2 is the whole part and 776 is the decimal part. First we have to take 2.7. 2.7 is lies between the 2 and 3. Let us take number line between 2 and 3. Take 2.1, 1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9 and 3. Here 2.77 is lies between the 2.7 and 2.8. After that we have to take the another number line between 2.7 and 2.8. Take another number line between 2.77 and 2.78. Here 2.776 lies between the 2.77 and 2.78. Visualize 3.58 bar on number line. 3.58 bar is lies between 3 and 4. Let us take on number line 3 and 4. Step 1 3.5 is lies between 3 and 4. Take another number line between 3.5 and 3.6. Here 3.58 <coughs> is lies between 3.5 and 3.6. Take another number line between 3.58 and 3.59. Here 3.588 is lies between 3.58 and 